All right, we're back with more Patrick's Pear Box. In the last episode, we actually completed all of the main levels, but I believe there are a ton of challenge levels. Um, I don't know exactly. Okay, where are we? Oh, what the heck is going on? <laughs> okay, back to the hub. I think this is the okay, intros here. No challenge levels in the intro, though. So let's move back here. Challenge level one. So we need to use this. Oh, there's a block here, too. So I think we need to do this. We need to put this in here and then go up like this. Back we go and the level's complete. Challenge level number two. I'm confused, is this? Oh, I see. I was like, why, why is this difficult? It's not difficult, but we need to put this here first. Then we can bring this over here and push it out. So adding very simple challenges to the very early levels, kind of refreshing compared to the last levels we played. So we need to, I think we need to add both of these just like this create a wall so I can get in here and then push this curve piece off the wall. I think that was the whole point of this level, just to add a, a barrier. So this piece needs to be right here. Let's do this. There we go. I need to use that uh, that wall to block myself to get into the, the complete level here. We are in the level in the corner. So I need to place this in here so I can get access to it. Go up this way and push it this way. And then push it down so I can get in here and come back around and then push it in. Not too bad. So I think we need to get this block off this wall. I think we want to push it out of the way for now. Get myself in there. I did not want to do that. I think I want to put this here and then come back out this way. Push this block off the wall and then we're good. So far, so good. That is area number one complete. Beautiful. Next area. Empty. I think we want to do something like, something like this. Pretty straightforward. Now what is this dark area? I can't get in here yet. Okay. I think if we do something like this, we can get it up. Yep. Move the empty over to get the exit. Now, see, we have an issue here. What do we want to do? We need to end the, this on the back wall. Like we basically need to do this and put it here. But once we do that, we can't get one over here. So we need to have one of these in the level, I think. Possibly both. I don't see the harm in doing both. This should just work. And there we go. Oh, that was that level that we unlocked. Okay, so we're moving on. This is an order of operations thing. So what's going to happen here? We're going to go up this way and then come in there and pull the other ones out. So we need to do this one first and we need to get this one in this blue level like that. I think we need to just reorganize this in a way that we can retrieve it. I might have messed up already, but putting it on that wall. How do we get it in this piece though? What if we do something like this? That might be the play. I think it was. So just need to figure out a way to combine the blocks. I just need the right wall to do it. Same thing here. We need to be able to exit this level and push the other one out. So we need the orange inside the blue. We need to be careful though, because I feel like when we go over here, we're going to have an issue where we almost need the opposite first. If we do this, then we're stuck. And that's kind of the idea that I'm, I'm talking about. So we need the blue inside the orange like this. And then the orange inside the blue. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Just basically needed to do a little flip flop. We've got a level here inside the level. Now the level needs to be at the top. Put that here, move it over, put it here. And then we push this over there. Okay. That seemed pretty easy. Now, what is the idea here? Just need to do this. I think I see the difficulty because we need to like use then we need to use one of these to get off the wall. This one's pretty easy to escape. So what if we do that? That's not going to work because then we're stuck. We can't get back out that way. So we need to think about how we want to use these. If we push this one out right away, is there any problem with that? I don't think there is. Yeah, that was pretty easy. I don't know why I was worried at all. There we go. Area two done. Eat. We've got four blocks to go in. I think we need to like every other this. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Is that how we want to do it? Is this going to work? 
No, it is not. So do we want the greens first? What do we need to finish with? A, a green, right? So we need the green at the bottom. So if I do this, what happens? It eats the yellow. It eats that. Oh boy. This one's a bit tough. Okay, I, I, I'm good. I think I, I think I get it. I definitely need the green down here. The, the green needs to be the finish. So what is the issue? If I put the green above any of these, it doesn't work. So does this just work? I thought this would eat the other green though. I guess it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't. That's weird. I thought the little green down there would have eaten it, but I, I guess not. I feel like it should though. I guess because there's a space for the block to go up, it'll go up first. Now we've got a block that we can use to get everything in there. So is that what we need to do? Put this one in there. Now this is weird because we need to be at this place. I get it. Let's go all the way back to when I push that in. I need to push that all the way back. There we go. Do the same thing and we make this eat that one. And there we go. Okay, we've got a level inside a level and we need to finish by getting in this guy. So what is the play here? How do we get this block anywhere? Okay, well eating it works. I think we need to eat the level. Same way we just did with that one. Let's get this block out by pushing it here. So we now have a block free. It looks to me like I'm gonna have to eat the level to the right, but then I can't get it out. I have to eat it down and then be able to push it out by coming out this side and pushing it back that way. I hope that makes sense. So basically what I'm trying to say is, I'm trying to do something like this. And what do I want to do? I want to eat two of them to pop the level out. Okay, I get it. I get why those two are there now. Those two yellow blocks are used to eat it in a way that we can actually get the level uh, accessible on this part. So eat two. And now we have a way of pushing this up to the wall. Oops. There you go. What? <laughs> okay, I'm P. So P is where I need to, equals is where I need to be. This is a square. Two. Okay. I see. I am playing a very dumbed down version of the game. Basically, we were in like a grid format where one and two were the two different block types. We got reference. What was reference again? Oh yeah, this is just like the level within the level, I think. So what are we trying to do? Are we trying to retrieve this? I think it's just a matter of doing this and then we can get out of the uh, void area by doing this. And then we can go outside of this to bring this out and we will win the level. Probably similar idea here. I'm just trying to figure out how we would we would escape at the end by going out of the level. What I'm trying to figure out is why we why do we need. Oh, I see. Is it like this? We just need to give a space to push this in that way and now we can get out. Okay, next level. We got um, another level in here. We are in this area. So we need to find a way to get this level in here, which probably the only way to make sense is to go in here, come back out this way to be in here to push this out. This level needs to be here. And we can come out of the blue level to put the blue level back on here. <laughs> and that is, that is crazy. Okay, we've got a, a weird looking B level in here which is also inside the blue level which we are inside of as well if we put the blue level inside of the green level i'm gonna have to figure out why we need the, the top part but right now i can't figure that out let me do this now why is this going to be an issue I think this is just to escape the, the blue level later okay the, the levels on the right i'm not sure what those are but these levels are all part of the original game we have an end here and we have a yellow level down here, which can be moved to then allow the pink level to be released down in the other room. So this is going to be used to get a block in there, but what block are we going to use? It looks like we need to do some sort of corner fork. So we need to get one block inside the edge here. We've used that concept earlier in this video to get a block released. And I think the idea here is to go out this way and bring this one in. We need one here too. Okay. So that's where the that's where it's going to have to be at the end. So if we do this, I think we can just push this up into the yellow room and we win. Now what are these? Oh. <laughs> what is going on? Why would it do this? <laughs> okay. I mean the level is designed very carefully and you can definitely tell why it's placed the way it is. I might have made a mistake here. Okay. We need this guy here. 
Then go up here. Oh, stop. My brain can't handle it. Stop. Now we're zooming the other way. Does it matter which way we do this? I cannot comprehend what is happening right now. I wanted to come out here first and push this over and then come back out this way and then push this over. What an interesting game, man. It, it is so mind-blowing. <laughs> Swap. Swap is a very quick level. So what do we need to do? We need to put this inside the green level, it looks like. So let's do that. Okay. We need the green level to be inside of itself. Is that possible? Something like this, I think, right? This puts the green level inside of itself, which then we can put this block down here and go like that. And now we have that block. But now we need the, the green level to be back inside the blue level. We also need the blue level to be, be inside the blue level. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Okay, so we are in the blue level inside the blue level. We need every level to be inside this level. Okay, I think that was all just to get the blue level inside the purple level. I, I, I'm i probably making this a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, now we're like stuck in this room eternally. I've made a huge mistake. We need every level individually in the end afterwards. So I think this is giving me a clue. It's each one is pointing to the other one. Would we want it to be like this? And then this level goes inside here. We can put all the levels inside this one first. And that might be, might be what we need to do. So we're, we're completely inside blue right now. I can put all of this inside purple and then we can put these inside of green and the only way we don't we don't have inside of green right now is purple but i think we can re retrieve purple through going the other way i think we have all of them okay we don't want to pop this out quite yet because once we do that we're stuck oh no but we can go out purple here okay wait, let's get that one let's get that one we need to take green outside of purple which is then inside of blue and then I think we can just push both these out. I probably did that a lot more complicated way than it needed to be, but we got it. We got it there. Okay, we're inside blue, which is inside blue. So I imagine... What is the point of this wall? Do we push this one in? It looks like we're going to need this block to be here and then push this one in like this. Can we get the green block out as well? I think that's the idea. So if we go like this... We're trapped unless we go back inside the green level and push this against that. Then we can push the green level itself out here. And that should let us win. All right, swap is complete. We've got center. Quite a few levels here. So these are a problem because they're going to be here. But it seems like that's the only way. Can I like go like this and push this against here and retrieve this one? I think that's the idea. We need to get one in the middle. The only thing we can do is push them against the wall. So they have to go against the wall at some point. I think I want to enter this one and move it off to the side. Is that what I want to do? Is that what? Oops. Is that what it's trying to get me to do? This isn't going to help me because when I bring this out, it's still going to be non-centered. We're moving along the side, but that's not going to do anything for us. It's got to be something like moving this middle like this and then getting in there again. We need to have this one inside of the other one. I think I basically had it before. Yeah, that was it. We just need to get in the center and then move it back out. So far, so good. We've got a centerpiece here. How do I want to finish the level? I want to be inside this and then get out. What is wrong with just doing... I think I see the issue. What happens if I do this? Then I can't enter until there's another block. How do we get one in there before? I think I need to get one in there in a different way. And then move it around. Like, can I do something like this? And place these two here. I think I just need to do that before I move any of them. I just do like this. What, why am I so confused? Just like that, right? <laughs> There's not many choices we have here. This isn't gonna work, is it? No, it's gonna go against the wall and then we're stuck. The center point is on the left and right is always on the floor of the green block, which means I can't 
get it back off the wall, I don't think. I don't think there's any way to get this off the wall once I do this. Because then once we push here, it's going to be against this wall. Is something to do with... No. But once we're at this point, we can't do anything. This seems unreasonably difficult for how easy it should be. I get it. <laughs> oh my. You just got to move it over first. Similar concept here. I see the solution in my head. I need to do the whole thing over here. Move this over here. Move around. Put it to the side. That way I can enter from the top. But not move the block. Then come over here and push it down over here. Use the exact same theory that I had from the first uh, level we just did. So you've got a corner room. If this piece was here, we wouldn't be able to get out of the area to get to the level. If we were in the yellow piece and push that one out, we could. We have a block to work with. I think this is going to be our, our, our drop-off depot here. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. Let's just say we do this. I think I want to put this here. This lets me get around this block. Is there a reason why I want to do that? Is that the whole thing? I feel like there should be, should be more there, but I guess not. Okay, we've got another level here. We can't enter this way. So this lets me get around the blocks. I think that's like the whole idea. Just lets me get them off the wall. That seemed unreasonably easy compared to the rest of them. Oh, not one of these again. This is the two block. So there's a block up here, which if we put it here and come back out, we can push that straight down. And we can go back up into two to push it this way. Okay. We are over in three. One is here. And three is inside of two. We have a block here that can go back into one. And then one can pop out of here we need oh three can't do anything because it's against the wall when did the block where was the block from here the only thing that makes sense to me is pushing this in here and then through here over to this spot let me put it in two like this and then move it down and then push it back out when we go over here yeah weird levels i get the whole block nature but or like the, the ascii text but it's kind of like weird to work with you know what? I think that's pretty good for this episode. I mean, I've definitely gone through quite a few. We're into the clone challenges here. We're getting there. I mean, the levels haven't been too bad. There's been a few hiccups, but this looks like there's a lot more levels. There's so many more challenge levels as we go down. Like, look how many there are in transfer. And I would imagine there's probably even more in the next levels. Actually, no, open's pretty small. Flip has quite a few. There are still so many. This game is crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed the next episode. Um, if you're following along, let me know if I'm being a little too slow or a little too fast on some some things. Uh, I feel like some things I'm kind of brushing over, but I'm not very good at explaining my thoughts. I kind of I kind of see what I want to do and I kind of visualize it, but then I'm very bad at like actually you know saying what I'm doing. But either way, we've got clone next. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. What the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, I see. What? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? Why would it do this? <laughs> I get it.